Good morning all. Welcome to machine learning video. This is Swapna. Today's our topic is combining inductive and analytical learning. Motivation purpose is first we need to know what is inductive methods, what are the analytical methods. Then only we will understand why we are going for the inductive analytical combining of inductive analytical uh, learning. So inductive methods, uh, the decision tree, neural network, back propagation, uh, which have we covered with previous talk, previous uh, units or previous chapters of the machine learning that are concerned with the in inductive methods. Uh, explanation based methods we can consider as the analytical methods. In that we use the algorithm prolog EPG that is programming by logic explanation based learning. So <coughs> it uses uh, it gives the general hypothesis that fit for the prior knowledge and also it covers the observed data. Purely analytical learning methods offer the advantage um, of the generalizing more accurately from the less data by using the prior knowledge to guiding learning. That means main advantage of the pure analytical learning method is it can give the more generalized one and more accurate one by using the less data but by using the prior knowledge. So if you are providing the insufficient or incorrect prior knowledge, then it can give the wrong answer or it can mislead further. And pure inductive methods having also advantage because it doesn't require the any explicit prior knowledge. It learns that from the training data. If you are giving to, if you are uh, fail to give insufficient training data, it can mislead. So this is about the inductive, purely inductive methods. The main difference between the inductive and analytical methods is while we are giving the justification. That is the nature of justification within these two methods are main different. Uh, what is that? Hypothesis output is purely analytical learning methods such as Prolog EVG. It carries the logical destination logical justification and output follows deductive method and from the domain theory and training examples hypothesis output pure in which are in the purely inductive methods uses the back propagation algorithm and it has the statistical justification so i said main difference between these two inductive and analytical learning is justification in a uh, pure analytical method, it uses the logical justification and this can carry by the prolog EVG algorithm. While we are going for the inductive learning, inductive learning methods, here are, it uses the back propagation algorithm, but it gives the statistical justification. So, the purely inductive analytical method output mainly follows the statistical arguments that the training examples, if sufficiently large, it will follow the statistical arguments and this type of justification is used in PAC learning. While we are going for the analytical methods, already we said that it provides the logical justification. logical justification and pure inductive and pure analytical methods require the, the that means a pure inductive method requires the complete and correct training examples large set of training examples while we are going for the pure analytical method it requires a complete and perfect prior knowledge if you are having less number of training examples also so if both are unavailable if we are if the if we are having imperfect domain theory and incomplete training examples as a small set of training examples then if these two methods doesn't give the exact solution and whatever the differences we studied from for the inductive learning and analytical learning are given in the pictorial model here first one is the goal what is the goal hypothesis we are finding which fits the data in analytical learning it is a hypothesis for we are finding which fits the domain data and in inductive learning justification it uses the statistical method and in analytical learning it uses the directive inference and logical justification main advantage is it doesn't require the prior knowledge in inductive learning and in analytical learning main advantage is if you are providing the less samples Analytical learning learns from the less data also. And main disadvantage in inductive learning is if data is insu insufficient, it can go for the bias. 
in analytical learning if data is in if domain theory is imperfect it can go for the bias and it doesn't give the exact results <coughs> So second figure is about the spectrum of learning tasks. In inductive learning, it doesn't require the prior knowledge and plentiful data it is required. It, and another extent is analytical learning. Both are different extents. In analytical learning, it requires the perfect prior knowledge. But if uh, scales of data or few samples are also available, then also it can work. By summarizing the spectrum of learning problems and if there is there is no available, I already told you, there is practical problems are there. If the, both are two extremes, if both data is not available, then we are going for the combination of these two. For this, a simple example is analyzing the database of the medical records. That means um, by analyzing the symptoms of the analyzing the symptoms of the patients, depending upon that, we can go take the decision for the, for the what the treatment is required. Another example for this is analyzing the stock market. Companies whose stock value will double over the next month. How we can judge this one means by using the previous uh, uh, approximate knowledge of economic causes and effects which are having the domain theory. So in both of these settings, our own prior knowledge is incomplete, but is clearly useful in helping the discriminate relevant PHS from the irrelevant. Another example for this is a speech recognition. When applying the back propagation to a problem such as recognition, one must choose the encoding of input and output data. The error function can be minimized during the gradient descent. The number of hidden units, topology of the network, the learning rate and momentum, etc. are required. If you are a purely inductive method, sir, uses the back propagation model like this. <clears throat> so, like this, different type of examples are also there. So, we want to take the both the advantages of the both the methods and cover the weaknesses of the both the methods. Then we can go for the combination of this one. That means uh, how. <coughs> How, why we are going or how we are including means some specific properties we would like from such a learning method include there is no given domain dara i should learn at least as effectively purely inductive method if we are giving the perfect domain theory it can go for the purely analytical method if you are giving imperfect domain data and imperfect training data then we can combine these two so this is the motiv motivation for this uh, using the combination of both the inductive and analytical methods so, it, uh, and another properties of this one is it should accommodate the unknown level of error in the training data combi by combining these two. It should accommodate unknown level of error in the domain data also. Next one is uh, inductive analytical approaches to learning. So, this topic is we already covered in the uh, previous video that is uh, another separate video is available inductive analytical approaches to learning. So, in that we covered this one. By this I am ending this one to understand today's our topic is combining inductive and analytical learning. So, why we are going to combine what is the inductive learning and what is the analytical learning, what it requires inductive learning, what analytical technique requires, what are the main advantages are there, what are the main disadvantages are there of these two, um, why we are going to combine when we are having the imperfect data, imperfect domain theory, then we can, uh, we want to use the, the advantages and we want to cover the disadvantages of the inductive, pure inductive and pure analytical learning. That's why combining we are using combining inductive and analytical learning approach and uh, this one is covered in this video thank you we'll meet in the next video